Hey there, we're a couple of creeps. Welcome back to our show. It's episode two of season three. Woo woo, yeah, that's cool. We're counting. Uh, today on Couple of Creeps, we just finished watching uh, yeah, we did. Cannibal, our first uh, film directed by Marion Dora. I know he's got some others that are seven, kind of extreme. I don't know. I guess he's known. Never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> this comes to us from our good friend Tyler. Uh, and Did cover you your know? corpse. Make sure you check out cover your corpse cover for cool corpses. shirts and whatever. But thank you, Tyler, for sending us this. And also, this was recommended to us by Jasmine. So Jasmine. shout out to Jasmine. Uh, we so finally cool. got around to Cannibal. Finally. What did you think about Cannibal? I thought the grossest part of Cannibal was the tongue kissing. <laughs> the tongue kissing was super gross, honestly. I just that's just a me thing. I don't like I don't like excessive saliva in my mouth. You know what else I thought was gross? That like despite the whole premise and whatever was uh, the random like breathing sounds because they always sounded congested. So you got a lot of like clam, <laughs> mucus all the time. And I was like, just fucking clear your throat. God, <laughs> just do something. But it was a lot of get some Sudafed. Yeah. Stop. And the premise was uh, this man wanted to eat somebody and he found another man who wanted to be eaten. Which is a true story. It, it reminded me of the Cannibal Cop for some reason. Could probably because like the internet based stuff, but yeah, I can imagine it being real. I don't know if like this movie was specifically based off of a, a certain case or what, but I'm pretty sure there's been a number of different cases yeah. around the world where somebody is looking. Oh, for sure, people to be to to cake. eat. And somebody to be eaten, and, and it's happened before. Mm -hmm. I think there was, was the, the cannibal cop the Japanese guy? No, this was fairly recent. But I know there's been cases where FBI agents pose as people wanting to be eaten, and then they bust people yeah. for, like, attempted murder. The thing I found most interesting about the movie was there, Despite it being about a guy who wanted to eat somebody else, it, like, wasn't mean-spirited. Like, it was... You think it was in a sympathetic light? Not necessarily. Just, like, that the guy who wanted to do the eating was, like, kind of a little bitch. Like, he didn't oh, even want to... We don't use that word here. He didn't even want to do it. At first, he, he was like was all about scared. it. Yeah, and then he got into it and he was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. And then like he kind of gets back into it and then by the end he sort of comes around, I guess. But it was his first time. I almost felt like the movie was almost trying to, sh trying to show like the beauty of the situation of two people like coming together to fulfill each other's dreams. I did not think that far into it. I was just grossed out. By these uh, not attractive naked men. Well, that's the other thing that I open each other. Yeah, I mean, like whatever. You right, can, you it's can just do like that, yeah, cool. But it's just it's not my thing. I think the amount of like and they're hairy. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. And, like, was, like I saw their ball sack way too much. It's like there's <laughs> like you know men are not attractive. Mm -hmm. their, their bodies are great, and the whole like. I mean, we were making fun of it while we were watching it, but the the guy who wants to be eaten... He wants to be eaten. Like, yeah, he's, like, excessively hairy and just, like, thinks he's so hot. He's just, like, ugh. Yeah. Ugh, and, like, like shop. spread eagle, like, the whole time. Like, gray ball sack. Just... In my face. But, despite all that, I thought the effects were astounding. Yeah. They were like astounding. It was, um, I thought it was extremely effective with what they showed and didn't show and how they shot it and like, I mean, the they showed hole. a lot. The dick hole was a lot. That was cool. It was cool. It was gross. Not when he was tonguing it at the end. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> <laughs> after he castrates him. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious that he castrates him and then afterwards made him pee into a cup or had him pee into a cup. Like that was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it was funny, but it was. It was just like a little, <laughs> see what we can do with this. Yeah, I guess. We can make it pee. <laughs> it was just like, ew, I don't, I don't need that, but thanks anyways. I've never seen that. I thought it was really cool. The actual preparing of the flesh was neat. You thought it was a pig? 
I did. So after, you know, most of the movie is said and done and he finally strings up the, well, the man strings up the flesh to be butchered. Uh, Mm -hmm. He does it like a pig. And I think that they sub in like a real pig and then sort of put a severed penis prosthetic on it because it looks extremely real and convincing when he's like gutting it. So it was... It was nice. I thought it was like a good. It looked like trick. real viscera, but you could tell by like the I don't know haunches, the, the, yeah. the flank. I don't know pig parts, but its belly was really flat, like a pig would be if it was pulled taut. Right and very like continuous, like he got a long body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like if you were a person strung up by your legs, it would be just legs all the way down to to dick. But there and was a lot of like. Pecs. Yeah, Eventually. but there wasn't any of that. So, very effective, though. I think what they yeah. did was smart um, because it makes it feel way more real. And it, it is kind of off-putting at first when he gets him strung up there and starts to cut into him. Yeah, but I thought it was fake at first because of the way the belly looked. But the guts looked real. Again, I like. I just thought it, the dynamic was interesting that the guy who wanted to be eaten was like so into it. And the guy who wanted to do the eating was so hesitant for most of the movie. Like when he tries to eat the penis and he feeds it to the guy and he like chomps it right down. And do you then, think it's a homosexual commentary of sorts? I'm not really sure. That was kind of what I thought with like how much... Certain stereotypes have certain expectations and yeah. they aren't fulfilled and outsiders are aghast by it. I mean, that's another reason I thought that it was about something more than just what it was because of how much like sex there was i thought they were really trying to make a connection i saw I like know. he's gonna die so then i might as well have fun that's what i saw it as well yeah but i just think the meaning was more like like i said these two men come together to make their dreams each other's dream come true so they're like trying to show the beauty of the situation somehow no i don't know because it was sandwiched with hansel and gretel the story it opened with a storybook with an old woman old (laughs) old woman with her crooked finger telling the story of hansel and gretel and then they ended it with Hansel and Gretel, this fucking children's story <laughs> with all this horrible shit in the middle. Um, it was interesting. I liked the um, the fogginess of it. In the barn. The whole movie was yeah, foggy. Yeah, the whole movie. There was like green lights, mm-hmm. like very subtle. Like it was almost like um the Wizard of Oz crystal ball the whole time. Yeah. It was pretty. Um, I, I don't know. Like I, I wouldn't say I like enjoyed the movie, but I liked it. Did like it's just it I was wish a, they wouldn't have talked. The yeah, at all. Time. Oh, that's the other thing is the one guy. He looks kind of <laughs> kind of hardcore. Like he has the this little beard. I don't know. He looks like he would talk in disturbed lyrics. He's bald and he like looks like he would sound like that when he talks. And then he talks and he sort of just sounds like this. And he has a very high voice. I've got it all taken care of. I've got it all taken <laughs> care of. You don't need to worry while I cut your balls off. I was thinking about the beginning when he was playing with children in the street and petting goats. It painted him in a very sensitive, happy-go-lucky way. Yeah. And then he gets up to the, uh, what's that thing called? A plate? To a to yeah. bed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say the plate to the batter or the bat. Yeah, he gets up to he gets, he gets up, up to, to bat, bat, and then he just kind of falls flat. Dr. Seuss hat. <gasps> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> a cannibal was interesting. It was a different one. I feel like just dudes being naked and gross. Lots of dick. Lots of dick in this movie. You're the only man that I don't. I don't um, cut. <laughs> <laughs> We recommend it or not? Is it extreme enough for? I thought viewers? it was pretty extreme. I thought it was. I think the dick, the dick hole. I'll just call it that. The dick hole. Yeah, the dick hole. Was worth it. Yeah, I think it was pretty extreme. The music kind of could have been better, but I don't watch this to be transported into no, we're cinematic just, wonderland. We're, we're watching it for curiosity. I watch this and to the have experience. Nightmares. That's right. 
Thank you for tuning in this week to Couple of Creeps. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and comment any suggestions you have. Um, thanks to everybody that's like been commenting and stuff. It's really cool to like... It's nice having friends. Yeah, it's it's fun seeing all your suggestions and, mm -hmm. and you know... Just... It makes our job a lot easier. And follow us on Instagram at Couple of Creeps with underscores after it. That's us. We changed the page. And no. it's cool. Yeah, no. you guys know. I know. Just follow the one that's active. Right. Sexually active. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, don't, don't watch, watch this, this movie. movie.